Hey everybody, hey, I'm here. Guess whose birthday it is? <laughs> Don't mind the writing on the door, I just haven't painted it. And you know how kids are, they like to decorate and be special decorators in your home. Make everything look just really good. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to make a quick video. I know I look a little groggy, lighting's not good, lighting's never good. I always look like I just woke up, but that's what I think being a mom is a lot of the time, is always just looking like you just woke up. What? I want another Grab one and go sit down and try to peel it yourself. Thank you, my love. So anyway, normally today my kid would be with their father, but he picked up some work hours, so I graciously accepted to have my gorgeous child back overnight. Um, and I'm see, I'm trying to tape in landscape in case I have to edit, but I'm not looking at the camera, I noticed. <laughs> yeah, so my kid slept over again last night, and having a wonderful morning, and it's the puppy's birthday, nine years old. I can't, like I can't. Um, such a little gremlin sniffing around I brought them downstairs to my apartment um, but you could tell she's like trying to get out <laughs> she's like I'm not into this what are you sniffing about okay anyways so another thing too like I have a really personally I feel like I have a really nice shape body even when I'm heavy I have a nice shape body but my freaking arms does anybody have like one part of their body that like genetics just didn't bless them with you know what I mean like it's my arms like I could be hundred and twenty pounds six-pack abs and I'll probably still have like flabby not even like just chunky arms like literally just like like lava stretch marks like what like doesn't even fit with my body like so awkwardly misplaced can never wear tank tops ever unless I'm like really in shape like last year I was able to but like like, I was going to um, go out tonight with one of my girlfriends coming to visit, and I'm like, oh, I had this, like, cute outfit on with a tank top, and I'm like, <sighs> like, you try to love yourself, you try to just, like, be happy with who you are, and, like, but sometimes you're just like, <sighs> really? Like, thank you for this blessing. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was making my kid breakfast this morning and usually I cook or prepare something most meals um, but this morning we were just kind of in our room and I um, just went for the quick fix so sh they picked um, banana breakfast bar and some like seaweed some teriyaki seaweed so yeah weird right but we eat very healthy even you know we try to you know breakfast bars kind of sugary not necessarily the best but you know so is cereal so is pancakes whatever so uh, this video I wanted to make is about okay so there's a song my kid sings in school and it's like something about KFC chicken Pizza Hut like I don't even know how it goes but it's like all these fast food restaurants and I was laughing. I'm like, what are you saying about KFC and Pizza Hut? You don't even know what that is. And I'm laughing and I'm like, wow, like my kid barely knows what fast food restaurants are. Like they only know what McDonald's is because they've been with me through the drive through when I've had my period and like was craving French fries. And I've let them try a couple French fries, you know. So like, yes, they have technically tried fast food before, but I don't give my kid happy meals I don't give my kid fast food like they don't even know what it is and I see people and mothers giving their kids like oh just because we got the milk instead of the soda like those are still McDonald's chicken nuggets and fries you're giving your one-year-old McDonald's chicken nuggets and fries think about that you're doing it for nostalgia purposes like you know this day and age we know it's not healthy when we were kids it was I think a little different because parents like we were just raised differently now being so health conscious being so aware of what that shit's made out of now granted yes every once in a while I indulge myself as healthy as I eat and usually it's because I'm PMSing and the devil's got me and like I said like once a month I'll cave 
like unbeknownst to myself and I'll just like float over to like some fast food restaurant and get something. But I'm a grown ass person. My body can take it, you know. Like if you have the option to cook or like pick something different, it's not even cheaper. You're still spending like whatever. I mean, is Chinese food better? Is pizza better? Well, a kind of, kind of. I don't know, just like, I can't get on the bandwagon of giving my kid fast food. I mean, will it happen as they get older and they're like on their own and maybe they're on a school trip and that's what everyone's eating? Yeah, it probably will end up happening. But to make a conscious choice to be like, you know what, let's go to McDonald's for a Happy Meal. And that's the other thing why I say, like, don't let your kid watch commercials. Like, why not PBS? Why not Netflix? Even Disney Junior is not that bad. Like, I've just recently let my kids start wanting, watching Disney Junior. And yes, there are commercials, but it's not so much. I don't know. TV's not that great. I know. People are going to sit there saying, well, you let your kid watch all this TV and I don't even put the TV on for my kid. Yeah, well, okay. We're talking about food <laughs> and nutrition and what goes into their body. And even if you're like, oh, I do it once in a while, it's probably more often than you think. And at one years old, let them develop, let their guts develop a little bit more. I don't know. I just, I can't get on that bandwagon. And I'm sorry if this sounds judgmental, but I think I'm just trying to any all these videos, even if they come across judgmental, I'm not like at the end of the day, you're the parent. I don't know what's going on in your mind and in your home. You know what I mean? Like, it's all just kind of like advice. Like, let's just zero in and actually open our minds and think about what we're exposing our families to. You know what I'm saying? And our children to. Hey, butter. Oh, it's a bulldog. Shake it. Don't break it. Come here. You want to be in my video? Even my dog eats healthy. Come here. Come be in it. I know. We're in like the dirty part of my house because this is where I keep my laundry and stuff. Hello. It's like the laundry section and like, oh, right, butter? Tell them about it. Tell them no McDonald's, no Burger King for your kids. As an adult, you do whatever the hell you want for yourself. Like you've, you've lived en enough life to make those decisions for yourself. But I don't know, just like, oh, why is your kid eating McDonald's chicken nuggets? Eh. Go buy a bag and stick them in the toaster oven. We keep our kids so busy with baseball, softball, da 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 da. And it, it's proven like to, to not have such a busy schedule for your kid, like to have them home with you, you know, like, they don't need all that. You don't need to spend all that money. You think they do. And yeah, it's fun, but they don't have to. Is it because you as a parent want to fit in and be a part of like the parent group that sits on the bleachers? Yeah, you should get your kid involved in things and get them like interested in things. Like, I don't think that's bad, but like they don't need to be in five activities where they're never home, always running around eating fast food, never sitting down as a family. You know, it's just, I think I'm, I'm more annoyed at the idea of fast food in that sense. Like, if you do have the time, it's not a treat. Ice cream's a treat. That's like I'm too lazy and I just want to, maybe I want something from McDonald's, so I'm getting it for my kids. And I know they see it and it's around, but you as a parent have that choice to say no. You know? I think just in general when I make these videos it's not a it's not even judgment on what I'm even talking about it's just to open your mind to to what <sighs> Jesus to what oh my god I lost my train of thought that's what happens I don't know just open your mind think about what your decisions are your choices are like you have other choices you know, you don't have to just give in. It, to me, it's like you're giving in to your own addiction or your own, like, like self-satisfying something. I don't know. I think we should make better choices in, in, in those moments. And you can. Like, like, give yourself the confidence to do that. Like, force yourself to do that. I know there are plenty of parents who don't give their kids fast food. 
and most parents do and they don't see anything wrong with it every once in a while and fine that's fine but all I'm saying is be aware and maybe make other choices when you have the chance to and the opportunity to just the idea fast like slow down life slow down the pace of life and that's always like my aesthetic with all my videos is like just be more aware be more in the moment like take the opportunity to push yourself take the opportunity to um, make that time with your family okay not everything has to be fast you don't have to have them in baseball gymnastics karate swim lessons math tutoring if your kids like eight years old holy effing shit like slow it on down partner slow it on down how about sit face to face and read with them tell silly jokes watch them attempt to do a cartwheel on the front lawn and laugh at how crappy it is <laughs> I don't know just essentially spend more time with your family the fast fast food society of America we need to slow it down take advice from other cultures and other families Ugh, I don't know ranty ranty rant ranty ranty rant slow down enjoy your family enjoy your love and life and uh, you're beautiful I'm done I'm tired it's been a day bye <laughs>